off they go. Israel's top judokas on their way to the prestigious Abu Dhabi Grand Slam starting on Saturday. Some of them were there last year. This time, it's different. Israel's judokas will be allowed to compete under the Israeli flag. And if one of them wins a medal, maybe even have the national anthem playing the United Arab Emirates for the first time. That was denied in last year's tournament, when Israel's Tal Flicker won gold. The anthem was not played and the International Judo Federation flag hoisted instead of the Israel Star of David. But intense lobbying from Israel's Judo Federation and sports minister Miri Regev has instigated the change. Abu Dhabi organizers have been given an ultimatum. Treat all athletes equally or the event is canceled. And the tournament administrators caved. The Israeli team are happy to compete on equal terms. We are drawing a lot of attention. People are following our athletes, and we feel very comfortable. Also to compete with the flag, also knowing that if there's a gold medal, there will be an anthem. It's a good feeling. A medal is definitely on the cards, with a strong Israeli team, including Olympic medalist Ori Sasson and European champion Sagi Muki. But Israel's credentials as a judo powerhouse go beyond the athletes. A successful European championship in Tel Aviv in April prompted a four-year contract to host one of the sport's prestigious Grand Prix tournaments. And a possibility, maybe, just maybe, to host the biggest prize of all. The 2021 World Championships will be in Austria. In 2023, the tournament, the World Championships, will be in Qatar. The 2022 championship is unknown where it will be. So it's possible, since they haven't said where it will be, they'll be in Israel. And what a coup that would be if Israel can pull it off. Alec Pollard, I-24 News.